Well, let me ask you a couple of questions where you stand, because I want to, you know, we have some people on there who are pretty far right, but they say they're not birthers. They don't question the president's legitimacy. Uh, how far do you go these days, Mr. Leader? Well, I want uh, Are to you over there with the birthers? Are you over <laughs> there with them? Are you over there with those who think this is a Hitlerian health care plan like that woman up in Massachusetts said yesterday? I you want, think it's Hitler-like what he's doing, the president? I want the president, Nancy Pelosi, and Harry Reid to keep the federal government out of my health care, period. They have no right. But when you right, turn, 60, no when you right turn 65, they're getting into your health care, whether you like it or not. Uh, Medicare is a government program. I want Medicare to be privatized. It shouldn't be a government program. It's, <laughs> okay. it's, the, it's the thing that is driving up health care costs. Not, not that we don't have a public option. It's Medicare, Medicaid, and S-CHIP, the government-run programs that are running up health care costs. That's yeah. where the, re the reform ought to be. So we want to get rid of what's known as Medicare today, HICFA and all that government apparatus, get rid of all that, replace it with private sector health care, with private brother. sector insurance. I do. Well, it I didn't say it. I'm, I I'm suggesting it. But let me ask you this about, the, you, you keep skipping over this Bertha thing. A half dozen members of what was your delegation, in fact, you built that delegation, you built that Republican stronghold down there, are Culberson, people like that, and they are, they are birthers. They raise the question of the president's legitimacy. And by the way, the implication they draw is this guy ought to be picked up because he was never naturalized and therefore he's in the country illegally. Where are you on that one? Well, I would like the president to produce his birth certificate. <laughs> yeah. I, I can. Well, I can. And most it, illegal aliens here in America can. Why can't the president of the United States produce a birth certificate? Well, well, are you actively seeking that paper? Do you want yeah. him to produce? Are you Tom DeLay with your political and, and professional and career history in the United States governing, questioning this man's bona fides? No, 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 as no. A, no? I'm not quest You're questioning I it. You want to see his paper. Chris, the Constitution of the United States specifically oh, says you have but to I've be a natural born for citizen. But I never asked you for yours. Ask has me. I'll give it to you. you? But anybody, okay. has, any, has anybody ever said, Mr. DeLay, give me your birth certificate? <laughs> of no, course but, not. Because you got a Texas accent uh, Chris, and you seem homegrown. May I speak, Chris? Uh, Chris, can I speak? They have asked me if I'm a resident of Texas. They even sued me about being a resident of Texas. How about that? The Democrats okay. sued me about being a resident of Texas. That's just right. like asking me for my birth certificate. No, it's not. Yes, it's not it is. You, What's the difference? Uh, Mr. Delay, did anyone What's ever ask difference? you if you're an American? Did anyone yes. ever ask you if you're an American? Oh, Who? Democrats have looked through. <laughs> Are you kidding, Have they Chris? ever asked whether you're you know an American how, or not? They, uh, Chris, they have spent 15 years trying to demonize me and to wow. even put me in jail. Of course they've asked me if I'm an American citizen. Uh, no, let me just tell you something. No, the, <laughs> what the problem they have with you is not whether you're homegrown or not, because they figure you're definitely homegrown. <laughs> Chris, <laughs> they Chris. got other problems with you. Well, Why let don't me you, ask you this. Chris, will you, you do okay, me a favor? You want to see, what, sure. Chris, will you do me a favor? Will you ask the president to show me his uh, gift certificate? I mean, his uh, gift certificate. His birth certificate? No, I'm not going to ask him. Because oh, I don't please. Get to ask Come him. on. You want me to go up to the president and say, can I see your papers, sir, like he's an illegal alien? I want to see if he has a right to be in the country or not. Have when you I've seen, seen the, When I've seen the... Now, here's what I've seen. I've seen the Honolulu newspaper announcing his birth in Hawaii. Newspaper? I've seen that. Know. Newspaper. What do you think? They, do you think they cooked up that newspaper announcement back in 1961? You think they cooked it up so that he could someday be president? They as, cooked as, it up as a newspaper article, an official document. But, but do you think they cooked it up? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is it a newspaper article? No, it's an not. Official document? It's just common sense we're talking about here. <laughs> no. Common sense. There isn't anybody in America that's been born in America that didn't get a birth certificate at the uh, at Obama's age. Now, okay, I could, they, maybe they, at my age there are people born. Okay. You know, all I know in, is. They gave us the document that was made available to anybody in Hawaii who asked for a birth certificate. <laughs> that document they give you. That's all I know. Right, okay? Right. Let me ask you about this gun thing. You're a gun rights guy. Can yeah. it be carried too far? If you were head of the Secret Service, would you let people come into presidential meetings carrying arms? No. Would you? No. What do you make of these people who think that's a legitimate demand that they're making? To use I, the Second Amendment no, and stretch it that far. Excuse me. Excuse me. That's not a law. That's, that's a security matter. And, and the Secret Service has every right uh, to, to take a, a meeting where the president is and make sure nobody has, has a gun on them. That has nothing to do with passing a law keeping people from carrying a gun. In fact, I'm yeah. really mad because I got indicted. They took my concealed carry weapon uh, license away from me. I, I think yeah. that's a violation of the Second Amendment. Okay. Well, thank you, sir.
You bet. It's good to have you on. I, I don't think I'll ask him for his birth certificate, but... How about uh, these shoes? I'll give you some <laughs> shoes. <laughs> I, think, I think you're going through some changes, sir. 